Hello guys, in this video, I'm just going to explain how to fix this secure boot is not enabled on this machine. First thing, we need to verify whether the secure boot is enabled or not. On your PC, right, open this system information. Just click on that. So first, I will close this. We have to verify two things here. First one is bias mode. Bias mode should be UEFI. So it should not be legacy, okay? Bias mode should be UEFI, okay? The second thing is we need to verify the secure boot state. Secure boot states is turned off. So we need to enable that, okay? Then open, create and format hard disk partitions. This is a disk management actually. So type this and you can see that and just click on that, okay? So here, right, in the C drive only we have installed Windows, right? So we need to right click. Where is the C drive? Yeah, this is the C drive. So under disk, right, right click and click properties. So here you need to verify under volumes. Check what is the partition style. The partition style should be GUID partition table. It should be GPT. If it says MBR, which means master boot record. If it is MBR, we need to convert to GPT. But if it is a GPT, right, just simply cancel it. So that is two way. Also, I'll be telling how to convert it. If it is an MBR, okay, this is GPT, right? I'm going to close it. So we need to go to this recovery mode. So go to Windows settings, open settings. So here you should go to recovery. Go to recovery options. So here, right, under advanced startup, you need to click on this restart now. So now to convert MBR to GPT, right? We need to go to this troubleshoot and here go to this advanced options and then go to command prompt. And here you have to enter MBR to GPT slash validate. So you need to enter this command. Validation will be failed because already it is in GPT. So that's why the validation is failed. Okay, and next thing we need to enter MPR to GPT slash convert and then enter. Okay, but I am not going to enter that because it will not work. It's already in GPT. So once it's done, right, you need to restart. So turn off your PC. So now I'm going to verify whether it is converted to MPR to GPT. So we need to go to this disk management, create and format. So create and format hard disk partitions, click on that. So here, right on this disk, right click, go to properties and then go to volumes. The partition style should be GPT. Okay, super cool. So this is the way you can convert. Now canceling it. Next, again, we have to restart it because we need to enable the secure boot. Go to settings and then recovery options and then restart now. Again, restart now, go to troubleshoot and then go to this advanced options and then go to this UEFI firmware settings. So we need to restart, okay, click on this restart. So here we need to go to this advanced mode. So F7, so here we need to move on to security Come to security and just, you can see the secure boot, just tap it. So you can see this secure boot is enabled here. Select the secure boot control. It might be disabled, okay. If it is a disabled, right, you need to enter and then make it enabled. Enter, that's it. Now you need to save it. Go to save and exit. Save changes and exit. Do not forget to save the changes. Save changes. And give OK. PC is restarted. I need to open system information. So go to system information, open it. And here verify the bias mode. It's a UEFI. Should be UEFI. And check the secure boot state. Super cool, it's turned on. So that's it friends. Now launch EA Play and play your FIFA 23. Now I'm going to start this FIFA 23. 
So that's it friends, successfully launched. FIFA 23 is now launched successfully. So all the issue is resolved. Super cool, create new settings file. Yes. So that's it. Now we can launch and play the game. Press any button. So that's it friends, this is the way you can fix the issue and launch FIFA 23 on your PC. That's it, hope this video is very much helpful. Thank you so much for watching, please put a comments and feedbacks from from Psyche, bye and take care.